Heather Blish is another one who stood out. She introduced herself as just a mom from a few blocks away, not affiliated with any political party. Later, I tried to ask her if anyone sent her here. No, I was not influenced. I'm not a member of the Republican Party. I have not paid my dues to the Republican Party for two years. I left the party. Her LinkedIn page shows something different. She was the vice chair of the Republican Party of Kiwanee County until last year. She worked on the John Gard campaign, who ran unsuccessfully against Kagan last year. And it says she's a part of the Republican Party for Kagan's district, as well as the Republican Party of Wisconsin and the Republican National Committee. Again, Blish introduced herself as just a mom with no political affiliation with any party. Ta-da! Journalism! Congratulations to Christopher Engebretson of that local station in Green Bay for going the extra step to find out what was behind the incivility in his town, rather than just covering it like a ping pong match. The supposed mom from down the block who was berating Congressman Kagan, yeah, turns out she's a Republican Party official who worked for the candidate who lost to the congressman she was berating. Also, Patients United Now, which promises you that there are people just like you standing up to the big companies and lobbyists on health care reform. They're really Americans for Prosperity. Offices on M Street in Washington, D.C., funded by the largest oil company in the United States. Mob scenes at town hall tea party events that the Republican Party chairman says have nothing at all to do with Republicans and aren't being promoted by them in any way. Hey, there they are being promoted on the front page of Republican Party websites. The